my mind sabotages all the times because I wanted to be like other girls and I wanted to do what they do. Uh, I compare all the times and that's not my reality. So I'm trying to to convince and trying to to say to my mind what I can do and to be happy with that. But it's not easy. It's not easy. I would like to get married and to have children in some way. I think it's part of the life. I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, to do it. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% uh, capable and I get tired. I get tired so I don't know if it is going to be enough I don't know if I'm going to be enough to do everything. So for that reason, sometimes I think I can do it and sometimes, sometimes I think probably not. This is not for me. So I don't know. Really, I hope, but I don't know. I think the crush changed everything. Changed my feelings. Mm, I don't feel happy as, bef as before. It is a, a big process. Um, in my opinion, in my opinion, I, I, I think it changed everything. It changed my father's life. My mother died three years ago, and I think uh, due to my accident, she couldn't support it. She couldn't uh, res resist it. It was too much for her. Even though uh, I live with my father and she didn't have to take care of myself. She didn't have to take to take care of me. So, but uh, in my opinion, I think she couldn't. She couldn't accept it. So it is uh, another loss. For me, um, as I as I said before, it it has been it had been so difficult. It has been so difficult. Prison doesn't discriminate. Anybody from all walks of life can go to prison. All ages, all races, all types of charges. There are different mentalities in prison, and so the people that I associated with were the people that I went to school with. I, I went to uh, college, started college, and got associate's degrees while I was there. And so the people that I associated with were the people that were trying to better themselves while they were there and use their time productively. General day starts about 3 o'clock in the morning for breakfast, um, and then you go to uh, work or school or whatever uh, assignment you have for the morning, lunch around 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, you go back to work or um, school, depending on what you have. Uh, dinner is served at the end of the day, about 4 o'clock. Um, and then that's the end of the day for uh, some people. Uh, a prison is a, a city in itself and so there are jobs to be done around the clock and people um, uh, have all different schedules and what they do. Uh, there's a lot of manual labor in prison, working in the fields, um, uh, harvesting and planting the crops that are grown to support the system. I mean, it's, it's kind of a uh, random, different for everybody. There's, there's not one thing I could say that's going to uh, describe a typical day in prison. Really, I don't enjoy things as before, like I uh, went to the beach, or drive a car, or dance. It's completely different. Um, I try to enjoy as today, 
but uh, you know it should be in a different way it's not any there is no a choice I have two pets Napo and Sophie uh, a schnauzer they are beautiful but uh, I have to take care of them and sometimes I get tired because I have to, to go down the building and they want to go three times a day but can you imagine I'm not going to have life so but they are they are beautiful you know they they give me a, a lot of love and they are with me all the time and they are a very important part of my life it is important uh, to me to be in this campaign before I think uh, the first thing it is uh, because I feel this is part of my mission here in the earth. The second one, it is because one thing came and then the other and then the other. It, it was not something that, you know, I was looking for. It's something that it came by itself. And right now I feel okay, you know, it's pretty good to know that you can help other people. So I thought in that moment uh, my physical appearance is not as normal, you know, it, it is not a normal uh, physical appearance of a human being. But uh, if this face or this body can help others, why not? I want people to know about the importance of not to drink and drive, be a blood donor, be an organ donor, to be careful about addictions, and remember everyone is responsible for their behavior. Your behavior can change anybody's life. When people say that uh, I am an inspiration or, or a hero or whatever, I think anybody with a, like a, my condition or with a, any kind of big problem, that uh, those kind of words help a lot. It is difficult for me to, to say to everybody, thank you so much, but this is my opportunity. And I wanted to, to say to anybody in the world, anybody that uh, pray for me, thank you so much.